Good evening, everyone, and welcome um, to our first uh, Q&A via Zoom for new members in February. Uh, this is something that we have twice a month uh, for new and not so new members, just anyone who wants to look at the profiles that they're working on in uh, in real time and um, get some help and, and suggestions. My new name is Betsy Coe. And I've been a Wikitrier for about four years now. Um, and like many people, I stumbled on onto Wikitree through a Google search on an ancestor that I was uh, running. And um, the the ancestor had a Wikitree profile. And I I was really intrigued because there was I was a little puzzled by this ancestor. And there was a research note on her profile. And I thought, wow, that's that's really thoughtful. And so I went ahead and joined. Um, and, um, and then realized that there was, there was kind of a steep learning curve for, for, um, navigating how to create profiles and, and build things out. So, um, you know, I sort of went in fits and spurts, um, for me watching the Saturday roundup, uh, live cast was a really great inspiration, um, because, because of the way profiles are shown and and you get to see like oh it's possible to do this or that and then ask questions and and then experiment on your own um and and very happily i i have become one of the hosts of the saturday uh roundup live cast um a, a little over a year ago it really um has a special place in my heart because it's how i started feeling um connected to the community um, where I spend time at Wikitree is uh, several projects, uh, Wales, England, Scotland, Canada, um, and the Global Project. Um, I'm now heading up the Taiwan Project, uh, and I'm also a mentor, and I uh, help run events. So when when it's Thon time, you'll just see my name around a lot, and I run the Rock Challenge, and Stephen, Stephen is one of our five people who's getting rocked this month. So Ooh. exciting stuff. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so uh, with me tonight, I have uh, Murray, Murray Maloney. Um, can you introduce yourself, Murray? Um, actually, I, I, I did. I did to almost everybody here except for Paul. So I'm a, I'm a retired technical writer and uh, I've been working on Wikitree for the last four years. And I've been helping by... Um, by writing some of the documentation for the Wikitree browser extension and for the uh, fan chart and for the forthcoming uh, super tree uh, that Greg Clark is working on, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I've been working, uh, working on my tree and learning a lot about who my ancestors were, which is, uh, has been fun. And uh, my connection count is up to 1350, I think it is now. Wow, so, good for you. Yeah, I really jumped quite a bit recently. Yeah. Do you know why? Do you know how I just, keep, I just keep plugging away and adding people. Oh, okay. It's all, okay, good. Cousins and aunts and yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's nothing more exciting than tapping in, making one connection that gives you a big... Yeah, connection. yeah. I don't get many of those anymore. Yeah, right. Usually, so usually when that happens, when that when that connection happens, it's it's yeah. past by seven. You oh, know, it's, sure. It's, yeah, it's more like eleven or twelve or thirteen. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's me. That's uh, me in a nutshell. Okay. All right. Yes. Well, you introduced uh, yourself to everyone here, but remember, we've got we've got oh, people right. we've got we've got our viewers. Happening. Yes. Yeah. So thank you and welcome to everyone who's joining us um, asynchronously. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what do I do with um, my glasses? Then? Let's see. Um, so let's, um, I did want to go over tags um, and I hope, hopefully um, this might be helpful for somebody. I'm going to share my screen. Um, we'll just use my profile as an example. Okay. So um, give me, can you give me a thumbs up? Everybody seeing my screen? Great, yep. great. Yes. So um, you've got you've got your bio down here, which when you edit 
that will take you to this part of the biography. Of course, you can adjust your birthplace or date, um, that sort of thing. But what I feel is often overlooked is this section up at the top that's got a gray background. And that is its own section. Um, and this is where you see your badges. Um, you can um, send a little, sort of a headline, like this is who I am, this is what I do. And then very important in this smaller box to the left is um, uh, your tags, uh, your, whether you've tested for DNA. And then just, this is automatically generated um, the surnames where you've done the most work in 2024. So um, you don't have to worry about this part here. But what I wanna look at is, um, is the tags, because what this will do is it will customize what you see when you go to G2G. So there are two ways that you can, you can either directly edit there, or you can edit the whole thing up in the upper right-hand corner, there's another edit bar. So I'm, I'm just gonna be direct about it. Um, and so you do have a 20 tag limit here. So I've gotten to the point, I think, I think I'm at 20. And so, you know, if there's something I really, really want to follow, I, I have to make some hard choices. Um, but when you go to, um, add a tag, a tag, let's see, am I at 20? So, oh, I'm at 19. Um, let's see, what could I add? Um, how about, um, wiki tree plus is that, is that a tag? Murray, do you know if that's a tag wiki tree? There should be you're, you're muted. Hmm. I, I don't know when it's not one that I use, but it, okay. it'll tell you if, if you, um, you, you'll need to put it. Oh, see that now the see it's, it's giving you yeah. a list. It's suggesting things. Yeah. I mean, hmm. For example, you, you're on the will, we will rock you list, aren't you? I, I'm already following that one. Oh. Um, let me, let me. Follow. You have to put an underscore between the two words, like in other ones. Yes. Um, oh, maybe so. Um, um, um and then you are required, um, but you don't feel like you have to write a novel here. Um, interested in learning more. Um, and then we're going to enter the new tag. Okay. I, I sort of feel like Wikitree Plus has to be a tag. So now when I go to G2G, you can see some of my my um my tags here i'm going to switch over to my g2g feed and so that is it tells me again up at the top what oh i should refresh this cuz i just added a tag okay there's my wiki tree plus i just added it and that tailors what i am going to see here so it's it's really a good, I mean, there's so much activity on G2G that's really uh, helpful to be able to focus and drill down a little bit. Um, so you can see, I, I'm seeing this one because I follow Scotland um, and uh, et cetera. Now, if I'm, say I'm interested in seeing, well, what is everything that has been shown for Wiki, written for Wikitree Love in the last, week. I can click on that and it it's going to pull out chronologically all of the Wikitree love posts. Because when you put a post on G2G, you really want to uh, tag it as specifically as possible so that it gets to the eyes of people who, who are most likely able to help you. So, yeah. Good advice. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that, that's my, my quick, my quick little, um, beginner tidbit. Um, and now we did have, um, we wanted to, uh, see how to load a picture. 
images. Uh, yep. Yep. And Mur, you're I'm gonna do one and you're gonna do one. Sure. Sure. Okay. So um okay. Now if I go to well, I'll just go to my profile again. I'm gonna going to load a picture of my grandmother. So to find her quickly. Um there she is. Okay. So you want to go to images. Um, make sure that you have the photo, say, you know, sort of queued up and ready to go on your uh, on your desktop. Um, and um, I'm going to click, click here to upload it. Um, now I'm going to choose the file and then select it. Um, this is a, the next field is required. Um, this was um, a photo that was passed along to me from, from my aunt. So I'm going to say it was scanned from family photo collection. Um, this seems to be a good point to, to address, what if I see a great picture on Ancestry? You know, some, some like fourth cousin of mine has this picture and I, I really, really want to use it. And you can't, although on Ancestry, it is people do, you know, just, oh, I'll save that picture and that picture. You can't just download it and use it on Wikitree. Um, you do want to um, send a message to the person and ask for permission. So I just sort of, um, I have a, like a, a standard message that I send people. Um, I explain um, that I'm working on their their our shared ancestors profile. I give them the link. I say, would you mind if I, I use this photo? And um, if they respond, I've never had anyone say no. So um, uh, you know, you're you're mainly only stuck if they're if they're not responsive. Um, and importantly, you want to you want to mention that in this comment section. So if you if you receive the, the picture from someone, you want to give them credit for mm -hmm. having give, given you the picture, mm -hmm. and uh, and acknowledge that they gave you granted you permission to uh, to display it here on Wikitree. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Excellent point, Murray. And so what I would say is, um, um, granted permission to use this photo by Joe Smith ancestry user on you know the date of our message exchange yeah exactly yeah um so you can title it whatever you want um so my grandmother's um nickname was babs babs red and this photo was from before she was married so um she was at work as a nurse uh this was at polyclinic a uh, hospital uh, in New York. You know, actually, this would just be like any other location that should be. New York? No. Okay. New York. New York City. Uh, maybe I'll put that in the polyclinic hospital. Okay. And the date, uh, I'm certain, I'm certain it was New York City. The date, I'm less certain. I'm going to say it's 1927. She arrived in 26. She was married in 28. So um, there we go. I'll say it's approximate. It's a photo of her. Now, if you were, say, um, uploading a photo or a screenshot of an obituary or newspaper clipping or some kind of document, then you would collect um, select source. So, okay, but it is a photo. Now we're going to upload it. And there we have it. Um, now she's um she's the I don't know who the other two friends are in this photo. So, um, but if I did say it was a, a family shot where I knew who who everybody was, I could add them. I could tag them so that I don't have to upload the photo. You know, for as many people as are in the photo, I can just um, 
tag everybody once and then it'll appear on their photos too. Um, so there's everything I've entered. Um, there's my, my description. Um, so if I wanted to set this as her profile image, your main profile image, I could, um, I don't want to, but, um, if there are no other images on a profile, sometimes this is automatic. And if you don't want it, you have to go back and undo it, but that would all happen here. Um, if you wanted to make a photo, a background image, you could do that here. I, I suppose if, if, uh, you had a landscape or artwork by your ancestor, that might, that might be good. Um, now here's how you could put the image inside the text of your biography. Okay. All you're going to, everything's all done for you. You're going to just copy this. I put it on my clipboard and now I'm going to go back. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Murray, did you say something? No, no, nothing. Oh, I okay. my phone. oh sorry. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm back on her profile. I'll go to edit. Now I have a little work to do on her biography, but let's see. Mm, yeah, boy, do I have work to do. I've done my grandfather's profile, but I really, uh, I need to do a better job here. Um, so I'm going to say she emigrated to the United States in 1926 and worked as a nurse at Polyclinic Hospital in New York City. Here she is enjoying a lighthearted moment with work friends, colleagues. You've got new new city instead of New York City. Thank you. Okay, so then I would just there's the there is the text that I copied from the other page. So now I can say that I have improved the bio, and I'm going to do a full save. <laughs> oh, slow, slow. Okay. And there, there it is. So it, it titled it with the title that I gave to the image. And um, you will still there, you, you will still see it both within the biotext as well as along the side, but, um, if you knew the, each of the people in the pictures, could you highlight your cursor over it? And would it tell them who's who? If you tag oh, them? Oh, kind of like Instagram. Hmm. Yeah. Um, no, I don't... Our, WikiTree doesn't work that way. Okay. Yeah. I didn't think so, but I thought you asked. <laughs> yeah. No. Right. But you can you can put text over the image. So that mm -hmm. so that when you hover over the image, it might name Babs and 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 and, and it might name them in order. Right, mm -hmm. so you, you, you might be able to read that text if you put it in there. Mm -hmm. so, so, so I'll demonstrate that to you in a moment. That, that would be great. I would love to see that. So okay. I'll I'll hand I'm stop sharing and hand it over to you, Murray. Let me see what I want to share. Um, it's always hard figuring this out. What what you, what you should select? Okay, so I think this is what I need to do and share mm -hmm. all right so are you seeing yep a, you are yep. seeing that screen. your okay, image good. archive yeah so so i do think I, I do things a little bit differently than what betsy just did and and i want to uh, demonstrate to you a little trick that you can use this is my image archive so i keep a a, a space page and i just add images here and the advantage to that is that if I put them on the, on this page, 
if I add them to my image list on this page, then when I go to add them onto a profile, they don't show up on the list on the right, right hand side. They're just not even there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as a result, if you want a profile that's really clean and has, has all of its images separate from, you know, so that, so, so that right column is, is clean, then you can put them in a separate space page. Now mm -hmm. you might, you might do what I've done here, which is to keep, just keep one archive page or you might have an ancestor for whom you have a lot of images. And for that person, you want to have their collection of images all in one space page. And you know what? You can create as many space pages as you want. So go, go ahead. As long as they're something that you can use, you, you know, it's useful to you, you can go ahead and create it. So if you create a space page for your grandmother, let's say, because you have a lot of images of your grandmother, then you mm -hmm. can just create, uh, add all these images to, to that page. And then where you want to place them in her profile, you just place them. So I'm going to show you now. Uh, we're going to add. Go to images. There we go. And click here to upload an image. And. Come on. Screenshots. Murray, can I ask a question? Yep. Um, okay, up there it says it has to be 10 megabytes or less. I don't know if I really know how to figure that out. Um, Photo? You know, I have an I, iPad. Uh, okay, so so if you look on my on the screen here, you can see that, that this image that I'm about to select is 105 kilobytes. It's not, it's not a okay. huge image. I have an iPad and I don't think it says like it does on the PC. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, I, I suspect that if you have an iPad and you've got an image on your iPad that you're you're gonna add, it's probably not too big. And and okay. you know what you know you know what if it was too big, it'll tell you. Okay, they haven't kicked any off yet. So Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't okay. worry about it too much. I I, I, I think it's unlikely that you're gonna run into any ten megabyte images. Okay. Okay. I have to say I never noticed that little bit of this the text, so I think I think it's probably a a wide margin to reach that. Yeah, yeah. All right, Good. so I'm click I'm gonna click on this image now that I want to bring in, and, and what I did was like I copied this from an app, and I'll show you that app in a moment. But here's my image, and uh, this is a. Um, um, And, and dates and locations are irrelevant. And this is not a photo of me, it is a source. So now I'm gonna up, upload the image. Okay, so then, now we have this bit of my family tree that I can now, now slide down here and grab. Now where Bet Betsy grabbed the upper text, I'm gonna grab this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna go to my profile. So here's my profile and I'm going to collapse the table of contents. So now you can see the top of my biography and about me. And we're going to put this tree right after the advanced directive. Okay. So I'm going to go to edit. Come on. Scroll. Oops, not too far. There we go. So now I'm going to paste that in. So what it put in is it says there's an image that I want here, and it's in this file, Murray Maloney Image Archive, and it's number 14. And it says align it right, not left, not center, but right. And make it medium. No, I don't want it medium. 
I want it large. And there's a difference if I use an L or if I type out large. So I'm going to type out large. So now for my caption, I'm going to say Maloney family tree. Oops. And then I'm going to add something. The label. Oops. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Okay, now for the label, I'm going to say Murray Maloney's family tree uh, uh, period. Parents' names. Larry and Helen. Uh, okay, you get the point. So now I'm now I'm going to save this. Oops, went to the wrong place. Come down here, and I'm going to say I added uh, I did a bio improvement, and I'm going to do a full save. All right, now let's go look and see what happened. So there it is. And look at that. It, 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 I, I, I goofed. Okay, and then that's why the that's why the tan color is underneath it like that. I, I goofed. I should have done something and I'll, I'll go back and do it in a minute. But you can see the images there. And you can see it's got a caption, Maloney Family Tree. But now if I hover the mouse over it, a little box pops up and what I put in the label appears. Mm -hmm. And if, and if you, if you read the documentation for the web browser extension or the fan chart, then you'll notice I do the same thing there. And I always add extra information so that if you hover over an image, you're going to learn more. So that's just a little trick. Now, yeah. now I'm going to show you, the goof that I made. Okay. If that's all right. That's yeah. It. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now the goof that I made was that I didn't tell Wick the wiki that, okay, I'm finished with the image and I don't, I don't need, uh, I don't need you to treat it, treat it that area special anymore. And so what happened was the, um, uh, the heading for research notes, mm -hmm. it it grew to 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 encompass part of the image because the, because that heading didn't know that it wasn't supposed to be part of the image. Okay, mm. and so what I did was here I is I added clear, and that so once you've done once you've done your images, you can you can do a clear. Now what you also can do, by the way, is, you know, when you say left or right then there's going to be space on either side or on one side or the other. Okay. And you mm -hmm. can, you can add text. Here's my text to describe my tree. Okay. So let's, let's preview that and see what happened. Oh, oh, it see, it popped it after it because it didn't have space in the preview. So, but, but probably in the full one, it will. So let's go mm -hmm. do that. Another bio improvement and we'll save that. Okay. And there. Oh no, it still didn't have room because because the image was large enough that it fill, filled in that space. Mm -hmm. So now, is it all right if I show that app? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So this is an app that will be coming coming soon. You'll be able and to see the, the super big family tree. The, yeah, and, and it, it it's going to be renamed to Super Tree. Super Tree, I love that. But, but but Greg and I still call it the super big family tree. Um, 
anyway, so here here's the here's the tree. This is this is basically how it looks when you start, and then you can grow it. Uh -huh. And um, now, how do I? I've got this list of, list of images on my right hand side, and I can't see part of my screen. How do I how do I move that? Oh, just um, sort of drag it down to the bottom. Just just sort of. Okay. Drag, got it. Yeah. Got it. Yep. Okay. Super. All right. So, um, oh, perfect. That, that did, it it, uh, it fixed itself. So let's let's go up a generation. Okay, so it did it. Now I'm going to go over here. Then this is the resize, and there's three sizes I can go. Okay, and that's the whoops. So you see, I've gone up an, an extra generation, and I can do it again. And you customized all the colors, Murray? So, well, I mean, so so what we did was, um, so I, I, I just wasn't happy with the set of colors that were coming up. And and so Greg and I worked out a color scheme. And I, I don't think we've, I don't think we're finished with it yet, but basically I wanted the male side to be more blue and the, and the female side to be more pink. Okay. okay. So basically we're gonna come down to the, you know, the, the parents are blue and pink. Okay, so my parents, you know, my father's blue and my my mother's pink, and and then we wanted a mix of other colors, of course, to, to lean, you know, come down to that. And same on the, on this side, right? Mm -hmm. um, but we we have to refine it a little bit, but um, but we're, we're working on that. So um, so then of course you can also go down, and you can also set up a lot of things. So you can you can describe, you know, how you want the names to be described, how you want the dates. And the places and and which colors you want to use and you can do things like oh no wrong place colors um, oh. it's not there yet sorry I was so th there'll be a, there'll be there'll be highlighting thing tricks to um, to do here right now it's only alive on this day in biography text but anyway this will be um, this will be along soon. There's just some um, some details that have to be worked out with the uh, changes in the API recently about privacy and in the and in the um, uh, and, and Greg just hasn't caught up yet to those changes and that the, they the, the changes happened just as he was about to release it, but mm -hmm. but now he's got to make some uh, modifications. So um, so you can click on somebody and you can see more about them and then. If you click on that, you'll go to, go to their, you'll open a new profile. And, um, and you can also jump to see them in a fan chart or see their descendants list or to see this person in a tree mm -hmm. like this one. Can you take and a screenshot of, of the tree there also? Sorry, say again? Can you take a screenshot of the tree too? Like you paste it into your... Yeah, exactly. That, well, that, that, that's exactly how I did. I took a screenshot of this. But there's also this really cool, uh, let me just see if that's working yet. Yeah, oh yeah, we're still, so we're still working out making this work quite right. Um, can't get the whole tree in, gotcha. but we're, but he's working on that and, and, and that should be, that should be there soon. And so, so, you know, theoretically, you would be able to print a, a tree that it, you have um, seven generations up and seven generations down. And, the, and the, 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 the real trick there is to be able to send that to a printer that would print it big enough so you'd actually be able to read anything. <laughs> right? Because if you, put, if, you, if you put it on a regular sheet of paper, it's just going to be all too small, right? So you'd have to, you have to put, the, put it on a really big printer. And uh, and that's part of what we're, what he's trying to figure out too is how do you create a file that you can send to a commercial printer to print on a on a large enough sheet for, for it to be worthwhile, or or could you do it by by having like uh, having it print out like you know twenty or thirty eight and a half by eleven sheets that you go to a wall and you paste up on the wall and 
you know, show your whole family tree mm-hmm. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so enough of that. Uh, I am going to. While you're still there, Marie. Sorry, yeah. Can you... Yeah. Can you drag that around? Like, okay, now down on the bottom. Yeah. That's what my iPad does, and it doesn't go away. What? Oh, you, the, the trails? Yeah. Yeah, I know. So, so on this particular app and on the also on the fan chart if you go to privatize and click and then and then click it again all the trails disappear so that privatizes it so that that, right now we're not showing any uh any living person that isn't a member on wikitree and if i do this now now living people who aren't on wikitree are showing but you can't read it because it's too small Mm. But anyway, so that that button actually makes those trails go away. Well, let me show okay. you that again. Let Thank me show you, you that again. I want, I want you to see the trails disappear. So yeah, we're gonna make it really goofy, right? Mm-hmm. Like that. Okay. Now we yeah. just do that, and oh. boom. Nice. So, Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Now, how do I undo this? How do I get out of share mode? Oh no, not new, not new share. Escape. I don't know. Oh, stop share. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Good. So back to you, Betsy. Oh, well, I mean, it's it's a, a collaborative effort here. Um, oh, it says so, I'm close to you. Oh, yep. You're back. It's fine. Um, yeah. Let's see. We have about 20 minutes left. Do we have any questions? Anyone want us to look at their profiles? Yes, Sue. Sue. Okay. Back to when he was putting the picture on first. Um, yep. He said, you you spell out large, you don't just put L and you're going to well, tell us why. So so it turns out that that's S, M, and L you can use. And you can also use large. And if you use large, it's going to try and uh, make it as big as the image what is within the limits of that, that, that column. Okay, so let's say the image let's say the image was twice as wide as the column. It's still going to fit in the column, but let's say the image was only half the size of the column. It's going to show up as half the size of the column. Okay, um, and but but if you use S, M, and L, you get what are they? There's two hundred uh, two hundred pixels, three hundred pixels, and f- four or maybe it's six hundred pixels. So so there's you know, specific measurement that they're going to use for those. And so I just find it for me, for for how I work, I just find using large and and um, because of the nature of the screenshots and different things I, I use that I just find large is the best way for me to work. But you have to you have to just try things and see how they look. Right. And it doesn't like, you know, it it does cost the system every time you do a save it costs the system a little bit, right? And so we try to discourage people from save, 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 right? We don't want people to do that all the time. But but sometimes, you know, you the only way you're gonna see how it looks is if you see how it looks. And the preview does, doesn't give you a, a true fidelity because it's not the full width, right? You're not seeing what it should look like. So sometimes you do have to save and go back and, and adjust it. But you learn, and once you learn, then you decide this is what I like, right? And you might you might decide you like L, and I like large, and that's okay, mm-hmm. okay. right? Because yeah. it's WikiTree, we can each do what we want to do, and and right, and yeah. some people are going to pat us on the back, and other people are going to are going to you know thumb their nose at us, and and it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember you, when I would. Oh, go ahead, Sue. Well, I was just going to ask. Could you look at one of my profiles? I've got a picture on there. Sure. And I was—I oh, okay. don't know if I put large or small, but yeah. okay. It's—I'm not sure of the number, but it's Janari, and I'm sure there's not many. G E N N. Okay, let me uh, let me screen share and then you can type it in. And um, before we do that, I just want to answer a question Stephen put in the chat about. Um, if uh, if you inherit your grandmother's photo album and she has passed on, then yes, 
you you can say that they are your photos to share. Yes. Good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go to share screen and um, I will go to. Okay. What is the, what is the name, Sue? G-E-N-N-E-A-R-Y. Okay. Uh, do we want to put a first name in or you think? Roy. Roy. Okay. Search. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't There's happen very often. Three. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. There we are. Okay. I have a picture down farther and it seems like it's pretty big for the um, size of the um, the biography. Well, um, so you're talking about the one that I, okay. Yeah, it's down any, farther. Yeah, oh. any picture that's on the, the right like that will be that size. Um, yeah, she, I think she's talking about further down though. Oh, further okay. down. In the biography where I put it there now. Ah. Oh, okay. It's not as big as I thought it was. <laughs> yeah, it's a very nice okay. one. So, yeah. so what we can say about that is that it, you know, it wouldn't hurt if it were bigger. Um, you're you you're putting a lot of um, space into the caption. Yeah. And 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 it works, but it but you could you could have um, you could have that information in a paragraph before and or after too right um, well, i didn't know what i was doing when i did it so yeah it's okay what how, how would you improve it okay let me think um so i would i would either make it left or right and I would have the text be on beside it. Okay. Instead of a caption. Right. Okay. Do we want to try that and see how it looks? Sure. Okay. If you want to, do you want to, do you want to take I, over? I, I can direct you, Betsy. Okay. All right. You so drive. I'll, 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 uh, I'll navigate. Okay. Edits. Yep. So let's go down to that, find that image. Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. Right. Now let's let me look at that for a second. So, um, so double click on the word caption. Okay. Like. Okay, that's that's good. Now and type in now the word label. Uh, where will I type that? R right that right now. Just go ahead and type. Oh, okay. No, you selected caption. So yeah. Okay. Okay. So now. Um, now the the text from Brigadier to 1967. Uh, grab that and copy it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And put it after. After put the it... after after the braces. Okay, like here. Well, uh, you you can put a space. Uh, you, sorry, you can put a line af after the brace and, and before Brigadier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's go back up. Um. Uh, just give me a sec. I just have to look at something quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you uh, do you want it on the left or on the right? You want the image on the left or on the right, Sue? Um, which way is he looking? <laughs> I can't tell you at the moment. I think straight ahead. Oh, okay. Then it doesn't matter. Yeah. Put it on the right. The writing on the right. Okay, so we need um, we need. Let's see on what line after after dot uh, jpeg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at, start a new line. Okay. Uh, um, vertical bar. Align. Equals, left L. Just, Just L. L. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, and then we're gonna do a. Uh, 
Let's do a size. Let's do a size equals large. Okay. Is that a new line and a, with a pipe? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A pipe and a size equals large. Okay. So by the way, everybody, this, uh, the vertical line, which on many, well, on my keyboard, it's, it's sort of on the upper right and that you have to shift to get it. That's also called a pipe. Um, okay. Size equals, equals large. large. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. Um, let me see what else. Oh, and then after in between 1967 and obituary, mm -hmm. we want a clear, uh, double brace, clear, double brace. Uh, I, I think it should be a capital C. I'm not sure. Can I always hurt? do capital C. Okay. All right. Um, so just, just for safety's sake, let's preview that and make sure that, that I didn't mess anything up mm -hmm. and then we'll do a save and see what it really looks like. All of those instructions. Oh, that's oh, really see. big. <laughs> All of those no, that's too, that, so 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 large is too big. So we're going to go to L. Uh, no, we're going to go to M. So okay. Let's go back up, and we'll make the size M. Oops, where is it? Uh, aha. Okay, make the size M. And so notice that when you go down preview to preview again. again, you have to, if you make a change, you have to click preview again to see the results of that change there. So now what we've done here is now she's hovering over the picture. Don't go back, hover. So the text that's mm -hmm. the text that's up there on the right is also the text that's in the hover. See? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that, a, is that an improvement, Sue? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Is, there an, is there any way we could make the um the writing narrower so it goes down farther instead of just at the top there? Well, well we'd have to have more words. <laughs> <laughs> this was the caption that went with the picture in the magazine I took it from. So, <laughs> okay. Um, I, no, yeah. wait, but no, there's text. There's text. Uh, well, the seats, see, some of the text below is part of his obituary, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, the picture and that just sort of are separate. Yeah. Now, when you made the, oh, I'm sorry, Stephen. Sure, go ahead, Sue. Okay. When you made all those things with the order, the size equals and this and stuff, does that have to be in a certain order? Um, I don't believe so. Okay. I think I think there's just there's a you know there's a list of things that you can do, so you can you can set the alignment align equals size equals mm -hmm. you can uh, set the label which is what you get when you when you mouse over something, and you can set the caption which is the text that goes underneath. Now the thing about the caption is if you put too much text in the caption, it's going to be wider than the picture. So sometimes that kind of messes up your purpose, right? It, it, and so mm -hmm. you want to look at, reconsider how you handle that, which is what we did here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what else is there? Um, let me just check and see if there's one, an obvious one that I've missed. You know, I Those think- Those are the ones I know. Yeah, if you, um, let me just uh, go to uh, for a second. We will save that in a second, but if I go to, um, oh goodness, I don't, go to my profile and I'm just gonna pick an image, images, um, okay. All right, so if I go down here, um, it's a nice, uh, this is what I grabbed to insert the picture within the biography text, but yeah. below it is this example here that gives you a nice little working template. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just any any image page will have that. Okay. That's really so, technical stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Make it look classy. 
Yeah. So yeah, would you like definitely. me to go ahead and save it? Yes. Okay. Yes, I like that. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, Murray. I well, I learned. I didn't know how to do captions or um, labels. Okay. Label. So we did a bio improvement. Full save. It's also called alt text, by the way. And oh. so and so you should know that when you do that, when you add a label, mm -hmm. uh, then you're helping anybody who has to use a screen reader to to uh, access WikiTree. Mm -hmm. And so you know, and somebody somebody who's accessing WikiTree will be would be able to read that cap that label. And we'll have another one of these, the fourth Sunday of the month. So that would be the twenty twenty fifth. Yes, Sunday the 25th in the morning. Um, so it's 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Okay. Well, good. It's been fun. Yeah, we'll wrap it up then. Thank you so much for coming. And uh, thank you to everyone who's watching afterwards. And WikiTree on. We'll see you next time. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.